How's everybody doing? Glad you come back. Hopefully you stick around and watch this whole video. At Biker Rags swap meet that I went to, I was questioned about my bedroll, how I got it rolled so nice and tight, and I was asked to do a video on it. So that's the whole purpose of today's video. So stick around. <laughs> I have a 2016 breakout. I'm not sure if the triple trees vary in sizes to different bikes or if they're all the same. And other uh, manufacturers may be wider, they may be narrower. But for my breakout, I measured mine at 17 inches wide. Was the visually the best way it looked in my opinion. So. My bedroll is going to be strawed out to 17 inches wide. And it's not the bedroll I wanted. I'm looking for one that's got a lot more black and gold in it. Maybe some silver. Eventually one day I'll find it and one day I'll get some new black straps. Because the ones I have currently are brown. But I got them off Amazon. I'll put that link in the description for these two things to do this if that's what you choose to do but for me particularly my bedroll I'll stash stuff in it like charger or uh, backpack those little knapsack style backpacks you can fold up real small if you go somewhere you don't have any storage on your bike you could technically take it off lay like a t-shirt down or something roll it back up put it on your bike and go and not have to worry about it just options you don't have to do any of that. You can just take it off and cover up with it if you want. I mean, <laughs> that's technically what it was for anyways, lay on the ground and cover up. When you are on a long ride, you get tired, you crash on the side of the road. That's what it was for. For mine, it's for the looks, kind of the nostalgia and the heritage of the way my bike looks. I thought it looked great on there, so I put it on. So. I'm going to reposition the camera and we're going to get started. Alright, so for my particular bike, I measured it out and 17 inches is perfect for the triple trees and the handlebars to, to flow in my opinion. So what I suggest is finding your, take your measurement on your bike and look. Mine 17 could be narrow or you might need wider. I, I don't know. Measure it. Take your measure tape, find the center, and then split the difference. And then what you want to do is you want to take one side, try to get it all as flat as possible. Because you're going to see how these lines kind of weave in and out. But what you want to do because mine's been rolled and sat for a while, I still have permanent lines from where I folded initially, so I don't have to measure. But what I do is I keep all this here nice and tight and straight line, come up to this end and do the same thing. Try to keep the blanket even and not, you know, one side like way over here, you know, try to keep your straight lines. And sometimes it wants to fight you, but the more you put into it, the better it'll look when you get it folded. So just be patient with it. Don't get frustrated. And you make your one fold. I don't know if you can see that too well. These weaves kind of, they're not 100% perfect. But as long as you got a straight line and you can fold it over, you'll be good. Actually, I see why it's doing that. All right. So you get your straight line over on this side. You take this side and flop it over the top of it. And then even your, even your lines up on your blanket. You can try to keep these lines here matching too. And 
and just kind of push push away from the blanket when you uh, get your lines squared up. And now you're you're ready for your roll. Mine has a tag right here, so I start on this end. <clears throat> it really doesn't matter what end you start on, I don't guess. It's going to matter on how you finish it. But kind of take your tassels and flop in at an angle. And just slowly roll it in where it's tight in the center. And just keep on going. Try to keep it nice and straight. Roll it tight. And what I do differently than some other people do because I don't want this hanging out flopping in the wind I fold these over and I pull it back to this line right here that way if anything's flopping it's just that and I'll just roll it all the way up take my my belts here And if you're doing this inside, put your belts on. You can you can do this one at a time actually on the bike, which I'm not going to show that because I don't think that's really needs to be shown. But you get a nice a nice clean look. Sometimes you may have to finagle one side or the other, but you have a nice tight bed roll. And what I do is this lip right here, say I'm sitting on the bike. What I'll do is, oh, let me rotate this around. I'll put this against in between the triple tree and the handlebar. And then I'll take this strap. I'll go underneath the top portion of the triple tree up over the handlebar and then buckle it in tight and then i'll do the same thing on this and why i do it on the triple tree and not that just the handlebars is because what i've learned is when you do just the handlebars it wants to do this when you ride it wants to blow up so if you strap it to the top of the triple tree also it doesn't go anywhere it stays and holds it its position and what this is what I was talking about when I how I particularly use mine for. I got a battery pack which is charging my GoPro and my light right now. But I'll just slide it in there up underneath the the bed roll and then I'll take whatever cables I got to have hooked up and run them right through here. And then underneath up to the charger to like my cell phone or my GoPro depending on what I need charged. That is a little tip for those of you who film or you have a cell phone and you don't have it charging off the bike because I don't like charging the phone off the bike due to its electrical system. I don't want to burn out a stator or regulator. All right, this is how I do my bed roll. Hopefully, it was very understandable. And for those of you who do want bed rolls or have a bed roll and don't have it on yet, you know how to do it now. And hopefully, it looks as good. If it didn't, just keep playing with it. Take your time. Don't get frustrated. Perfection is not just the first time you might have to do it several times to hit it like that but i do have some more videos in mind that i'm gonna do and the biggest one's gonna be my seat coming in on thursday you probably will see pictures on instagram but you'll have to wait for the video it'll be later this year i won't put some miles on it before i actually do my review on it I do have a 
thing that I'm working on that will be released on the Small Channel Mafia channel in January. If you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, get notified when I put new ones up. That'll be a video a lot of people will want to see. And the seat video a lot of people is going to want to see. Um, please like, comment, subscribe on this video. I don't know how well it's going to do. I guess we'll see. I'll see you on the next one.